Hello and welcome to our first ever Salonga Sunday. Now for our first ever Salonga Sunday, of course, I'm joined by the lovely Beth. Hello! Hiya! Oh my gosh, how exciting! <laughs> how excited are you? On a scale of 1 to 10? I'm at a layer Salonga level of excited. <laughs> That's a high level. It's our first <laughs> proper layer loving day! As long as you behave yourself, I'm going to show so you... As long as you behave yourself. <laughs> as long as you behave yourself. <laughs> So for the first ever Salonga Sunday, we're going to be reacting to Salonga. We're going to be reacting to Leia performing "Don't Cry for Me, Argentina" from Avita, 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 Avita. Exactly that one. Yes, that one. <laughs> Actually, I uh, performed a show on a ship called "An Evening with Sir Tim Rice." He's an incredible lyricist. He's a legend, is our Tim. And those formative Andrew Lloyd Webber musicals are really special. Like, they're really well written. Some of his later things, we won't. Let's, let's not go there. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that was the shadiest hmm I've ever heard. Uh, so, shall we start, Beth? Let's go. Let's dive in. It won't be easy You think it's strange When I try to explain How I feel That I still need your love After all that I've done You won't believe me all you will see is a girl you once knew Although she's dressed up to the nines At sixes and sevens with you I can't get over how beautiful that was. The thing is, she is always so understated yeah. and simple but effective choices. She can pull an audience in straight away. And that's technically hard to do as well because that, that opening, because she was doing it over just a sustained note, but she was mm -hmm. absolutely pitch perfect. Her enunciation, her airflow, you heard how every note was connected. She never let go of that core. There's two sides to this song because it's public address. She's talking to her public, but it's also an intimate look into the character and her thoughts mm. and the way she feels about her experience so far in the show or, you know, wh where Le Leia's taken the song out of context and she's singing it in a concert, mm. but it still has as much detail in it as if she was playing the character on stage. I don't think she can perform with that without that level of intelligence into the meaning behind the words and what the character is intending and what the character is trying to get get from the song. I think there's something interesting to look at in this song about how much it is a performance from the character's perspective and how much she's been being real. Um, I think that's something every actress who plays Ava takes differently like how much of this is total honesty mm. from what Leia just gave us I read total honesty and a real like humility sort of standing bare in front of the audience and saying this is who I am in terms of the show it's the side of the character that we haven't seen thus far uh, intimate look into yeah how she feels about how she got to where she is and what she did had to do to get to where she what where she is now mm. and why she did it she's accepted by the people and she's seeking their acceptance again she's saying i haven't changed i'm still one of you just because i'm in these exalted circles now and the way i got here some people aren't impressed with but i'm still one of you and she gets more acceptance from the people, the shirtless ones, as they're mm -hmm. called in the show, than she does from the people in her husband's circles who see her as a working class actor who slept her way to the top. And the interesting thing about sleeping your way to the top is no one ever talks about the people you slept with 
and whether or not they coerced you into it. And, you know, the only way you could rise up the ranks was they was the offer of that. It's more like shameful for the woman. Yeah, well, it's especially at, at this sort of era in time, she was a girl who had so much drive and determination to and and like self-belief and mm. you know fight that she knew where she was going yeah, right exactly from the beginning. and if that's if that meant that she had to do something she maybe wasn't proud of at that time in in history um it was harder for a woman to get to to rise to that to that platform yeah. so she's saying i did what i had to do i had to do mm. it i had no choice i had to let mm. it happen I think that's what she sings next. I had to let it happen. I had to let it happen. I had to change. Couldn't stay all my life down at here. Looking out of the window. Staying out of the sun. When she is telling a story, she sees all the images clearly in her mind of where she's been. She draws us into the to the memory. She sees the memory. Mm -hmm. and, and we've seen this through all her performances. She's so clear in those beats, in those thoughts, and then reacting to them. She's going back through the memories of when she wanted a better life and living through that moment into in breath of feeling the freedom that she's found for herself yeah. and that tiny journey was just a few phrases long but it captures the whole first act that we've just seen you really have a feeling that she's not going into the feeling of the past she's just she's observing she's just looking at where she's been rather than letting herself be in where she's been she's acknowledging that she's not there anymore she's acknowledging the change in her yeah and I think she's a bit worried that's why she's at sixes and sevens is like I'm a bit worried about how you're going to accept me now and how you'll see me because I have changed but I've had to do that to survive in this world and get where I want to go but I haven't changed that much I'm still one of you I still yeah. remember where I've been yeah yeah where I've come from yeah just have to comment on how her ease of movement through the voice never fails to astound me that she can move between a chest mix and a head mix just so easily like on the the truth is i never left you she did a chest mix and then she moved back into head mix like i've said in videos before it's not necessarily a way we would teach now we would probably tell someone to drop their jaw more and not spread so much. But when Leia mm -hmm. sings, she goes when she goes towards a head mix, she goes for a, a more spread forward place. And then when she goes lower in her voice, she goes for that forward. That maybe it become it comes from because her first jobs were Disney. Yeah. So going for that brighter space w would have been a choice for those sort of shows and mm. then she discovered her voice in that setting and she discovered her technique in that setting so it's some somewhere she feels comfortable and somewhere she feels like she she can go to and produce the sound she wants to that is so interesting isn't it it's like finding your technique and your voice in that formative moment influences the way you use your voice for for years unless you have specific training to change that that's why opera singers can damage their trained voice if they try and sing in a pop different way or musical theater yeah you train you the muscle gets trained in a particular way so that it works 
better the the way you're used to singing. Just look at the look of serenity on her face there. It's like she has gained so much status. We can see that in this performance, even though it's like you say, out of context, but she is fully in that woman's mind, that character's mind of, I am now a person of status. Yeah, so much power. But it sort of feels like she's she's taking it and she's taking it for her people. She's like mm-hmm. picking up the mantle. She's like the people's person, the people's princess, like like Princess Diana. Mm, yeah, that is so true. It's like, and, that, and that's the same with Diana is that the people close to her were the one, mm, this is controversial, but supposedly the people close to her were the ones who had an issue with the way she behaved. Whereas the people of England, the people of Great Britain and America and, and where she was known all over the world just loved her for her. Yeah, adored her. And I her. think it's the same. And I think she's realised now that she she is in that place of power. And it, it's really interesting that she's, like we're saying, she's this woman of power, but she's still almost pleading with the people. So she's treating the people like equals. Whereas I don't think she'd ever plead with people in her social, her current social circles. I don't think she would ever be submissive to them. I, th- I don't think that's in her character. Yeah. I think she appeals to the people because she treats them as equals. Yeah, she cares more about the, the people. And as for fortune and as for... I, I'm getting absolute sincerity from this performance. But you were going to talk about the gestures, the simple gestures. She I was, was I was, up. yeah, I was going to bring in the gestures. They're, they're very statesperson like, grand and elegant and powerful gestures. Convey a lot of strength. They're not quick, they're very slow, controlled movements. I think politicians get trained on how to gesture because you see them doing this a lot rather than pointing because pointing is weak. Um, I think that she's an actress and there is a sense to this character that she may have also rehearsed what to say. She's married a politician. He needs her to get her people on his side. Looking back into like Rainbow High... And the songs that are earlier, there is a sense that she knows the right things to say at the right time. The right clothes to wear, the right look, what, how she needs to present herself, even down to the gestures. So I think there's, there's two sides. There's some of it that she believes, but I also think there's some of it where she is a, Ava is, a, is an actress and she knows how to manipulate to get what she wants. Yeah, I agree. I think that she says... I never invited them in, fortune and fame. I think that's not true. I think that she did seek those things, but now she has learned through gaining them that they're not what life is about. And so she is telling the truth in the way that they're not everything they're cracked up to be. And actually what matters is people. And that's what she's singing. But I think that initially she was looking for fame and fortune well she was certainly looking for a way out of her circumstances and fame and fortune was the vehicle but i think she was seeking them yeah she's painting the picture of what she wants to how she wants to appear to people and that's a side of politics that we see all the time they plan speeches speeches are written for them so everything is very thought through and planned out before she does this speech she's practiced rehearsed She's probably looked in the mirror and gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There is a sense of calm preparation behind this Mm -hmm. delivery from the character. She's not uh, out of country. She's in absolute control of her delivery of this song, of this Mm. speech. Don't cry for me, Arjun.
Have I said too much? There's nothing more I can think of to say to you. But all you have to do is look at me to know that every word is true. Thank you. Yes, Queen. Ah, oh, look at her. Look at her. Going back to the... <laughs> <laughs> Going back to the sense of control, you never feel that Leia is out of control of, of her voice, of her performance. She is wholly grounded, firm in her technique. And I was just thinking back to what we were talking about earlier, the, the, the way that she sort of spreads a little bit more for that brighter sound. When she does go into that lowest place, it's beautiful. But if she did that all the time, she wouldn't sound like Leia Salonga. She knows who she is as a performer, how she wants to sound, what people expect from her. She's a biz we're businesses as performers. We know what people expect from us. She knows who she is as an artist. She doesn't change that. And I think that's, that's right. The control really works for the character of Ava because down mm. to what she wears, uh, how she appears, what, how she's going to speak... She is in absolute control of every part of the operation behind Ava Peron as a product. You know, she knows mm. Ava is a product. She sells it to the world. Yeah, 100%. She wants to be the last word on who Ava Peron is because with people in the public eye, everyone has an opinion and everyone can write whatever they like about you. So I think this speech, like you were saying earlier, is really important to her in that she is telling the people who she is. Don't mistake me for someone I'm not, because I'm still me. She's taking the opportunity to speak for herself before other people do. Hear it from the horse's mouth. And how could you not fall in love with her? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> we look at her. Yeah, she is a princess. Those, look at those eyes, like... Either the character so is totally honest and humble, or she's a really good actress. But either way, mm. she achieves what she wants from this song, yeah. which is the affection of her people. I wish we could have seen what she was doing during the instrumental break, because they <laughs> always love showing us something else. Yeah, I know. They show, I mean, it's a really good time to show the orchestra, which I understand they're working really hard too, and they're doing a great job. So show us the orchestra, fine. If you want to watch our first Theatre Thursday where Leia sings uh, Still Hurting, then I can complain about this as well. The character is going through something in the instrumental break that leads her to sing the next bit. And I want to see the journey. I want to see what this actor has chosen to think through to get her to the next place. But I love the, uh, the change in the atmosphere of the song where she sings um, Have I Said Too Much? Mm -hmm. It's a moment of clarity and um, humility and hum humanity. You know, from this states-like person of, of power and status to then uh, wonder if they've done the right thing. And that's so relatable. And it's such, if it is acting mm. from Ava, then it's really clever. Because that, exactly. it's her showing people that she's just like them. Exactly. And I think I think it's right that we, we don't know whether she's acting or not as an audience as well. We we shouldn't know. But if if she I is want, acting... But the thing is, I want yeah, to believe her. Exactly. Yeah, me too. I mean, she was quite a div div divisive character, Ava Peron. And lots of people really didn't like her and thought mm. she was manipulative. So there, there... But this iteration of Ava, Leia's iteration, I want to be on her team. Yes, me too. But there's still the side of me that thinks about that character and I go, hmm. And, and we know how clever Leia is. Mm. That she probably has that in the back of her head as well. All I read from her is sincerity. 
Yeah, maybe that's just my preconceptions I, of the character. I don't, yeah, I, but I don't know. Like, she is very clever. And I'd be so fascinated to see her in situ as Ava to see what would change. And, and, and if this out of context performance uh, does have any elements of the actor Ava. But I do think there is something quite demonstrative, is that the right word? Uh -huh. In this performance, compare it to like, I dreamed a dream on my own. The sincerity she finds in, in those. I think there's something different with this performance. And it looks, uh, not in a bad way, very planned and really thought through. She's delivering it like a political speech, isn't she? Yeah. Because she's giving every single moment and she's giving weight to every word. Every word is true. She really wants us to get the message. And in that way, it's a political speech yeah, that she's delivering. Underneath a political speech, there's always a motive, an ulterior motive. I like to think that she's she's clocked that and she's she's playing with that. Just even mm. like the look to the side, like I was like, I believe you, but there's just something. <laughs> <laughs> just but there's something un like bubbling underneath. Yeah, because we've seen we've seen her, but it is a political speech. But we've seen her sing songs and like wholly just go into that emotive place but there is something pulled back a little bit with this performance mm. on purpose there are layers uh, like yeah layers under layers that aren't being stripped back they're being held which is very interesting because usually she does expose her vul her herself her her vulnerability as the character yeah so yeah i think you're right leia brought those layers <sighs> she brought the layers well that was our first Salonga Sunday. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed it. We, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. it. <laughs> I can't believe we get to watch more and more Leia. I know. But we do have to keep it to two Sundays a month because otherwise yeah. we'll run out of videos very quickly. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Keep safe, keep well, keep singing, keep smiling. Ask us any questions below. Follow us on Instagram. Uh, subscribe to us on YouTube. I don't know why we're, point we were, we're pointing. <laughs> subscribe to us on YouTube. And join us again for another Salonga Sunday in a couple of weeks' time. The vote will be on the community part of the channel. Salonga! Salonga! <laughs> Bye! <laughs>